How come nobody makes award search tutorials about Latin America? Most points and miles tutorials cover deals to Europe and Asia because there are just more airlines flying those routes. But there are actually a lot of ways to fly to Latin America in business class for cheaper than it costs to fly economy. In today's tutorials, we're covering five of the cheapest ways to fly to the Caribbean and Central America and South America in business class using points. And it's usually surprisingly easy to find award space for these routes. So let's jump right in. Our first example for how to find cheap flights in business class using points is by using the American Airlines award map. If you just search for AA award map on Google, you should be taken to this site. What you can do is type in your home airport and search for cheap flights to an entire region. So for example, let's say that you are based in Charlotte. You can actually search for flights through Mexico and the Caribbean or Central and South America. So let's look for Central and South America. You do have to pick a particular departure date. So let's just search far out in the calendar for August, 2024, one person, and you can even set your budget for how many points that you have to use. I always recommend searching for just one way in business and first class. That's gonna be easier to piece together two one-way flights rather than finding round trip flights for the entire trip. So once you have all of that set, go ahead and click search. And this will show you all of the different flight options on that date from Charlotte to anywhere in Central or South America that fits within your points budget. So for example, you could fly to Nicaragua for 20,000 points, Honduras for 21,000 points, or 24.5, Colombia for 26,000 points. It'll show you a whole bunch of different options right here. Let's say that we wanna to go to Nicaragua for 20,000 points. You can just go ahead and click on the particular city that you wanna to go to and click book now. And this should auto populate americanairlines.com with the flight that you've chosen. Just make sure that you sort by business class lowest and it'll show you this 20,000 point flight plus $10.60 from Charlotte over to Managua, Nicaragua. However, this is a pretty inconvenient looking flight. It goes from Charlotte to Jacksonville, over to Miami, then down to Nicaragua. So kind of keep in mind if you wanna go through two stops in order to save some points there. If you would prefer to instead fly direct and not have two different stops in order to fly to South America in business class, I would recommend using seats.aero in order to find some good direct flight options. So here you would click on explore and then American Airlines search from North America over to South America, and then click on show extended availability. This costs about $10 a month, but it does let you see availability for the entire year. And the free version lets you see availability for the next 60 days. So from here, you can type in your home airport. So let's use Charlotte as the example, and then sort by business class lowest. This will show you different options in South America, or also I think this includes the Caribbean and Central America in this region for American Airlines, where you could go to Punta Cana or Puerto Rico. You could go to Costa Rica and lots of different options here for 22.5 thousand points in business class. And it's going to be a direct flight if it is green. If it's blue, then it's going to have a connection. So let's say that we wanted to go to Aruba. This says that there is this saver space on October 23rd or September 18, if we wanted to fly from Charlotte to Aruba for 22.5 thousand points. Once we find the availability on seats.aero, you would go to americanairlines.com and then you would search for that flight that we saw on seats.aero. So here we are gonna click one way, redeem miles from Charlotte to Aruba, just search for one passenger for now and let's try that date of October 23rd. Go ahead and click search and then sort by business class lowest. And here we do see that flight for 22.5 thousand points plus $15 and 60 cents. And it is a nonstop flight from Charlotte to Aruba. And you can do that with a variety of different airports as well, SJU, PUJ, LIR, and lots of other options from Charlotte or Lots of other American airline hubs as well, such as Philadelphia, JFK, Miami, or Dallas, Fort Worth. If you're new to points and miles, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed by what just happened there, but don't worry. We offer a free points and miles 101 course for you to help you earn and redeem points for your first redemption. The course covers everything you need to know to earn points and get your first flight covered. 
Grab the free course at geobreezetravel.com slash free course or check out the link in the description box. P.S. I'm going to take a quick second to fully acknowledge that not all of the destinations covered in these tutorials are countries where the predominant language is Spanish or Portuguese, but oftentimes the strategies for finding point deals to countries like Aruba and Belize are the same strategies that we would use for the Dominican Republic or Nicaragua, so I've included them in this video as well because the title Cheap Flights to the Caribbean, Central America, and South America was a bit long. Our next tutorial covers how to find these flight deals if you don't have American Airlines miles, since BILT is the only flexible currency that transfers there. So here's what to do if you are instead working with Chase, Capital One, Amex, or City Points instead. If you don't have American Airlines miles and you don't have BILT points, which is the only flexible currency that currently transfers to American Airlines, you might be able to book the exact same flights for cheaper by using British Airways. However, British Airways does not have a handy calendar on their website and Seats.Aero does not currently have British Airways as one of their options. You could search just with American Airlines like we were showing before, but oftentimes if you're searching on American Airlines, it's not gonna show the partner availability with British Airways. So what I like to do, I like to instead search for Alaska, which is also a One World partner and it will often have American Airlines availability that also shows up on British Airway since Alaska and British Airway both partner with American Airlines. So here we would search from North America to South America, show extended availability. And let's say that we wanted to go to Punta Cana. We want to fly this in business class. It's going to be a pretty short flight for a lot of the US. We have flights from JFK, Chicago, Charlotte, Miami for only 27.5 thousand points. Let's say we want to do this sometime in November. We have some flights from either JFK, Miami, or Charlotte. Let's see if we can find this Miami to Punta Cana flight available on British Airways. So it will cost about 27.5 thousand points in business class if we do this with Alaska points. Let's see what British Airways is charging. So here we would click on book, book a flight with Avios. Make sure that you are logged into British Airways. We are going to search from MIA to PUJ on November 6th, which is what we saw on Arrow. we are going to do this in business or first class, and then say get flights. And here we do see that flight from Miami over to Punta Cana on American Airlines, and there are six business class seats left. So if you wanted to book this through British Airways, it's only going to cost 16.5, that's an obvious plus, $46.90 to fly this in business class when booking through British Airways, or if you wanted to fly in economy, since it is only a two and a half hour flight, it's a pretty short flight, so it's only 9,000 avios plus about $47 in taxes and fees versus 17.5 thousand points to fly this with Alaska miles or 27.5 thousand points to fly this in business class with Alaska points. And Alaska miles are a little bit harder to earn as well, since none of the major points currencies will transfer over there but you can often get the exact same flights by moving your points to British Airways instead. Are you enjoying these types of step-by-step -step tutorials? If yes, please let me know. Click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for even more points and miles tips each week. We release a weekly video with these step-by-step -step tutorials. And we also have a podcast where I interview points enthusiasts about different strategies every week. Next up is the strategy for those of you who live near a Delta or Sky Team hub, such as Atlanta, Detroit, Minneapolis, or Salt Lake City. Here's the plan. Our next example is if you want to fly Delta or Sky Team down to Central or South America. So on Seats.Aero, there's actually this handy tool called the Delta One Finder or Delta First Class Finder. And there are tons of different flights into the Latin American region where you can fly between Atlanta and Bogota for about 52.5 thousand points between Lima and Atlanta for about 80,000 points. So you have quite a few different options here. And this honestly is how I found that there are so many flights to South America, even when I was just looking for Delta One flights to Europe. So if we click on explore, and then we wanna do this on Virgin Atlantic rather than Delta, because you can see here, the flights are gonna be much cheaper on Virgin Atlantic versus if we search on Delta directly, and I'll show you that in an upcoming example. But let's say that you wanted to fly from North America South America, or alternatively, you could search South America to North America, show extended availability, and you wanted to do this in business class. 
Since most of these are operated by Delta, you're going to have a ton of options from Atlanta by doing this. And you can fly starting at 40,000 points in business class to places like Belize or Grand Cayman or Costa Rica or Punta Cana. So you're going to have a lot of different options starting at only 40,000 points. This is also a really good route if you wanted to ever fly to Colombia. You can do that from Atlanta or JFK. Sometimes we also see them from Miami or LAX, and that's going to cost 52.5 thousand points in business class operated by Delta. Let's see if we can find this flight from Atlanta over to Bogota, Colombia on December 1st. So what we're going to do, since this is operated by Virgin Atlantic, we're going to go to virginatlantic.com. We are going to search from JFK to Bogota. And sometimes it doesn't auto-complete, so you can just click the full airport list and then search alphabetically for Bogota over here. And we're just gonna search for one way using the date that we saw at seats.era, which is gonna be December 1st. One passenger, always click on show flexible dates, advanced search in points and in upper class. Go ahead and click go. And here we do see that it's going to cost 52.5 thousand points plus $21 in taxes. If you wanted to see the entire calendar, you can click up here and change flexible dates to flexible calendar in the URL. And that will display the entire 30 day calendar of availability for you on Virgin Atlantic. And it looks like this particular route from JFK over to Bogota in business class is available nearly every day in the 30 day range that we search between November and December. One other trick that you can use to find award seats is to Google Virgin Atlantic Award Finder and click on the reward seat checker. And here you would say that you're flying with Delta Airlines and it's not gonna give you South America or Latin America as any of the airport options, but here's a trick. You can just pick literally any two airports and then the month that you wanna search. Go ahead and click for search for rewards. And then up here in the URL, you can just rig the URL to say the exact airports you want. So we're going to say origin equals JFK, destination equals BOG for Bogota, and then leave the rest of it the same and click enter. And this will now show you the reward seats from JFK to Bogota flying with Delta Airlines. And you can see how many seats are available on any particular day. So for example, Friday the 1st, there's more than nine seats available in upper class so that has a ton of availability but then in december 7 there's only one for upper class so not quite as much availability there and then there are days like december 13 and 14 where they don't have availability anymore so that's another way that you can see what dates might have availability in order to check on virgin atlantic's website and save some points there versus transferring directly to delta airlines like virgin atlantic are great because it's a transfer partner with all of the major credit card points programs, Chase, Amex, City, Capital One, and Built. And that way, you can pool points from these different programs into Virgin Atlantic to get these great redemptions. And if you're not sure what card to get, in order to earn these types of flexible points, we offer free credit card consultations at geobreezetravel.com slash consultations. We'll send you personalized recommendations based on your particular goals, budget, and lifestyle. Also, Check out geobreezetravel.com slash cardmatch. Cardmatch is a unique tool that pairs you with tailored or pre-qualified credit card offers. This often unveils exclusive offers like elevated welcome bonuses that aren't available through standard public or affiliate channels. For you to get these offers, you need to proceed to the application directly after selecting the Cardmatch offer. Up next, here's the strategy for those of you who prefer to fly Star Alliance flights. Even though Air Canada is off to the north, you can often use their program to get better priced flights going south. If you want to fly Star Alliance between North America and South America, one option that you have is Air Canada, and the number of points that they're going to charge you is based off of their flight award chart. And this is based on region, so in this example, North America to South America, but also distance. So if you're flying between zero and 2,500 physical miles, it's going to cost 20,000 points in economy, or 40,000 in business. If you're flying between 2,501 to 4,500 physical miles, that's going to cost 30,000 points in economy or 50,000 points in business. And then if it's more than that, it's going to cost 40,000 points in economy or 60,000 points in business. So if we go to seats.aero and then we click on Explore Air Canada, we can go from North America to South America, show the extended availability, 
And let's say that we are going from Houston. We would like to fly business class to South America. You can see that the points prices here will correspond with the different prices in this chart since most of the flights are not actually going to be operated by Air Canada. They're going to be operated by a partner airline. So for example, here between Houston and Bogota, it's going to be operated by United. It's a direct flight and it's going to cost 40,000 points because that is less than 2,500 miles. If you wanted to fly to Lima from Houston, that's going to cost 50,000 points because that is going to be somewhere between 2,500 and 4,500 miles. And then if you wanted to fly all the way down to Brazil or Argentina, that's going to be 60,000 points because it's more than 4,500 miles. If you want an easy way to figure out approximately how many physical miles it takes between two cities or where you can go within that range, I like the site Great Circle Mapper. It's free. And then what you can do is if you just go to the home page, you can click on map ranges and then under ranges, you can say, okay, what is within 4,500 physical miles of IAH and then draw the map. And so this will show you what all is included in that range. So you can see most of Argentina and the Southern coast of Brazil is not included, but pretty much everything else you can get in. You can also say, okay, how exactly is it? far is it from IAH to UIO, which is in Ecuador? And it'll tell you how many miles that is. So this is 2,354 miles. If you wanted to fly to Ecuador, it should be about 40,000 points. And we do see that here. Here's an Ecuador flight for 40,000 points. And then if you wanted to fly to Lima, we can check how far is it to Lima. That is about 3,100 miles, which would fall into this middle range where it should be about 50,000 points to fly this on a partner airline booked through Air Canada. And that is what we're seeing here is that it's 50,000 points. You would fall in how many points it would cost if you want to double check what Seats.Aero is pricing it at. Let's say that we wanted to look at this flight from Houston over to Lima on May 6th. The way we would book this is just to go to aircanada.com and we would click on one way book with airplane miles from Houston over to Lima on the date we saw on seats.aero, which is May 6th and just one adult for now. Go ahead and click search. And here we do see there's one seat left where you could jump on this United Airlines flight. It's a nonstop flight from Houston to Lima for only 50,000 points plus 96 Canadian dollars in taxes and fees. All of the programs we've covered so far are from outside of Latin America, but there's actually a Latin American airline program that's great for finding award space, and that tutorial is coming up next. If you're looking for even more next level ways to make the most out of your points, we do have a couple of options for you. The first way is through the GeoBreeze Travel Patreon, which you can access through patreon.com slash GeoBreeze Travel. Through the Patreon, we can prepare personalized step-by-step -step tutorials based on the exact routes that you want to see. We also host a live group coaching session every month. You can ask any questions that you have about points, travel, or anything else in the open forum. We also have a lot of people who join the $5 level just to say, thanks for the free content. And I am all here for that. Thank you so much. And I appreciate it so much. The second option is for business owners or individuals who spend more than hundred thousand dollars a year on expenses. If that's you, we would love to chat with you about our points portfolio management offer. I don't know if you know, but you can get some incredible luxury travel with that level of spend. Book a free intro chat with us at geobreezetravel.com slash intro call to learn more. Okay, here's how to use Avianca's program to get some amazing deals to South America in business class on points. So while Air Canada is one way to fly Star Alliance down to South America, there is also a Star Alliance partner that we've talked about on this channel before that's actually a South American airline. And you can often find cheaper flights, whether in economy or business class on points by using Avianca Live Miles. So what you can do is go to seats.aero, click on explore, go to Avianca, North America to South America, and then click on show extended availability. And then here, if you sort by business class lowest, you'll see that you can fly from LAX over to Bogota for only about 37,000 points in business class instead of at least 40,000 points, which is what Air Canada would charge on their site. And these are going to be flown directly with Avianca's own metal, which is what the code AV stands for. If you hover over the different points prices in seats.aero, that is the airline code for Avianca, and they have a lot of availability since it is their own flights as well. 
So let's say that you wanted to search for this from LAX to Bogota. What you would do is go to lifemiles.com slash fly slash find. Don't go to avianca.com. Go to lifemiles.com and then click on this travel tab. From here, you could either click on Avianca or directly with Star Alliance from LAX over to the airport of your choice with Bogota, Colombia for one child or adult in business or first class and click finalize and then click go from there. And you should see this price out at about 37,000 points when you look at the dates that match up with what's found in seats.aero. I hope you found those tutorials useful. Suggestions for future topics are always welcome. In the meantime, if you enjoyed these tutorials, I think you'll enjoy this video next.